All right, guys, we're gonna look at uh, arm bar from the mounted position. This is uh, typical of people that don't know Jiu Jitsu, think they can bitch press you off them, right? And this is our reaction to that response. So, Erica has a mount, right? Uh, I don't know Jiu Jitsu, so I'm gonna try to bench press her off. Here, I'm gonna lift her up. Look, when she wants to attack either arm, she's gonna choose, right? If it's this arm, this arm is gonna come over the top and she put all her weight on my chest. If it's the other arm, she switches her grip. One over, one under, right? This time she's gonna attack my left arm. So, I bench press her up, right? She pops up to her knees, right? She's gonna get this weight right so that she knows how to do the arm lock, right? So put all her weight onto my chest and pop up to her knees, here, right? When she gets used to that weight, now she can finish the arm lock and step over my head. So, I bench press her up, she steps over, swings the leg over, sits back, right? It's very important that you see she didn't just fall back and her legs didn't go shooting up into the air. Now she has the arm bar. She's gonna fall back, keeping the thumb up right there, right? Pitching her knees, lifting the hips, and applying the pressure for the arm lock, right? When I tap, she releases. Again. I bench press her. She pops up, swings the leg over, sits back, right? She's not falling back. She's sliding down my arm and keeping her hips attached to my shoulder right here, right? She's gonna lean back. Her body weight's gonna separate my hands, right? She's gonna make sure that my thumb is up, both hands go to the wrist. She's gonna slowly lift her hips, pull down on the wrist until she gets the tap. Let's look at this from another angle. Here, so again, she's in the mount position. Some people call this like the skydiving position. They're out here, right? Maintaining the mount. I bench press her up. Pops up to her knees, sits over, sits back, gets the thumb, and applies the arm lock.